Hi, my name's Katie and this is the group talk summary from 19th of January 2011. Um, the topic of the session today was friends and family. We had a few new um, sentences and vocab that come up. Um, the first one was bid farewell. Now to bid someone farewell is to say goodbye. So an example of this would be, my friends are leaving for Switzerland tomorrow. I must go bid them farewell. Or, I left to go travelling last week. The whole family came to the airport to bid me farewell. And, and the, ne the next new word was rejuvenated. Now, rejuvenated um, can be the mind or the body, basically feeling young again. So an example of this word would be, when I return from these holidays, I always feel rejuvenated. Or, reflexology massage can help to make you feel rejuvenated. The next word is bond. Now, as we were talking about families and friends, these are emotional, social and family ties. So, links that you have with people. So, an example of this word is, our family has a very tight bond. We are always there to support each other. Or, it can be used this way. Many of the family bonds were broken, or at least damaged when our mother was disrespected. So there's different ways you can use that, but it basically means family ties or social ties that you have with people. Okay, another word that come up was contradiction. Now, um, we were talking about families and friends again. So in this instance, we were talking about a person or a thing that has conflicting qualities. So an example of this that come up is my brother is very intelligent, but very, very lazy. Another example is if you ask somebody not to do something, but then you do it, then it's a contradiction. So, for example, I am angry with my girlfriend. She told me not to come home at 4 a.m., yet this morning she came in at 5. Okay. Um, there was not many major um, mistakes made in our group talk, but a couple of things I did notice were the following. Now, the first one was I heard I hurried up back to my hometown. Now, we would actually just say, I hurried back to my hometown. Um, the next one we heard was, I'm not married. Now, we would actually use the word married if you're talking about yourself. So, I'm not married. Marriage you would use if, for instance, you were talking about somebody's marriage. Like, my parents have a very strong marriage. Um, I also heard, I had a lot of difficult walking around in the city. Now, that word becomes difficulty. So I had a lot of difficulty walking around the city. Or, if you didn't want to use the word difficulty, you would say, I found it difficult walking around the city. And the last error that I heard was, I always take part in marathon. And you would just say, I always take part in the marathon. So they're just very small words, but they are... The key to English sentences, so please try and remember these at all times. Okay, guys, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.